Hey everyone, and welcome to episode one of my Demon Souls walkthrough lore series. Finally, got this thing up and running on my original PS3 using my Elgato HD 60S. So if you want me to do a tutorial, let me know in the comments. But I finally got it, and it works really, really well. Um, and let me know how the sound has turned out as well um, in this video. I can bump it up or down, but I think this is pretty good. Um, man, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, this is going to be a walkthrough lore through series, just like my Sekiro Shadows Die Twice walkthrough lore through series. And we're not necessarily going to do 100% um, of the game, because um, I, I don't want to beat it twice. I might. I think I might have another character. Maybe I'll show the second ending. But um, we're going to read every item description, go through the lore, and uh, piece together the story, just like we did in Sekiro. But this is awesome. Um, we're going to create, actually, we're going to name her Hell Witch, creating a female, because in Demon Souls, um, there are gender-specific items in the game, which is super cool. space and then let's see if I can spell today yeah I cannot because I <laughs> there you go how much awesome uh, female yep we're gonna start in royalty because magic is OP and we're gonna make a redhead and magic is broken Man, I had to do control. I haven't played my PlayStation 3 in forever. And I had to do controller surgery on this controller. Oh, man, I might do a tutorial on how to fix PS3 controllers because. King Alan. Ah, let's watch this. By I'll get to the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never God, I love this intro. I really do. But Valorfax of the royal twin This Bang is like super free from the fog Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings the type stuff of right here. Plight. Because they're using the paintings instead of doing um, that the old King Alant a CG intro. The Look at that. It's like White Walkers. The great beast below the Nexus from its eternal slumber and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valorfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Freik the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. It's a really cool, like, a lone warrior who has this. braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? 
Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. I hope I can beat the optional, uh, the, the first boss. You know, I don't know if I've ever beaten it. Just testing the controls. Oh. Okay. I was having, as I was saying, I was doing controller surgery. And, uh, my controls, when I was doing a test run, recording footage, to see if it would hold up and it was stable. My controller was acting on its own. Literally acting on its own. Test that some magic. And uh, the way I fixed it was I opened it up and. Behind this ribbon, behind the control board, there's a ribbon. You take the ribbon off, and I put a little piece of electrical, uh, electrical tape behind it. Now it seems to be working like a charm, because apparently on the contactors, um, it gets worn over time, and it kind of pushes in this black rubber behind it. So I thickened it out, basically, with the electrical tape, so now it's ultra-responsive. Because that was my issue before. Crescent Moon Grass. So before we get to this, I can read all the item descriptions here, but I'll wait till we get to the Nexus to read all the item descriptions because she's actually got some interesting items on her as uh, we start this. It's really cool. Pew pew! Love magic in this game. slower than Dark Souls. But, gotta practice them here. Oh wow, that didn't kill him. Love with the rapier, you can just hide behind the shield and poke. It's not that much damage, but it offers. It's a great protection. Save some magic for the boss. Pairing these guys is probably the best. Thing. Okay. Super happy I fixed my controller. Now I have to do this for my other PS3 controller. Um, 
universal soul. Soldier sold, crescent moon grass. Go this way now. Now, this first boss, you're not supposed to beat, but all the souls pros can beat him. <laughs> I think I've beaten him a couple times, but. Now the half moon grass will heal us. I am. So moon grass. So all grass will are healing items actually. So healing items are consumables in this game. Half moon grass. Awesome. Okay. Let's see if I can beat the boss. Uh, okay, I'm gonna shut up and try to do it. If I can't, well, I suck. Let's do this! Got him! All right. So, best strategy is just to strafe around him, dodge. Well, he's about to swing in. And only one screw up by me. Because of, uh, my controller. But all in all, not too bad. If this is the worst uh, controller issues I'm going to have, I'm, uh, pretty good. It's okay. Because I don't mind dying. You're supposed to die a lot in this game. <laughs> so if you do beat him, because you're supposed to lose to him, if you do end up beating him, you get to come to this area a little early and see Dragon God and get killed by him, which is super cool. But you get some uh, starting uh, goodies here. Get yeah, full moon grass. More full moon grass. Just make sure, because there's a lot of stuff to get. Full moon grass. We'll read all the items. Once we get to the Nexus. Shard of Heartstone. Upgrade materials. Shard of Sharpstone. A Shard of Sharpstone. Renowned, renowned Soldier Soul. Some soul items. Renowned Soldier Soul. And another is Renowned Soldier Soul. So. Let's just get killed by Dragon. So he's... This is a cutscene. You have to die. <laughs>
Satsuki. Love that character. Now we go to Nexus. All in all, 15 minutes for the tutorial. Not bad. Not bad. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect them to the You have died, and the Nexus has trapped your soul, you cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. And we have the next soul binding, which is a key item. And a ton of NPCs, so let's start talking to them. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now, go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed boletaria? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? It's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. Yeah, I know I am. We're welcome here. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> You came for <laughs> That's all he says now. Okay, let's talk to this guy, one of my favorite NPCs here. Hmm. You new here? Do you hear for my services? My name's Baldwin. Love Just Baldwin. an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living, and with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? So we can actually upgrade the rapier here. With the shard shards, no, but I will not because I'm going to save them. But it's cool that we got it. Um, and he also repairs equipment, so you want to do... No that. interest, eh? I can tell you're not going to last long here. <laughs> Let's talk to him a little more. It's simple. Just in trade, I'll give you weapons. With your souls, I can eke out... Yeah. Let's talk. Perhaps you've already had, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, <laughs> but he knows his trade his well. brother. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul-starved men. If you do meet him... Yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old near-do-well will just ignore you. There aren't enough blacksmiths in this temple to handle all the work. Only certain oars can be used to forge weapons, but you just have to make do. And be thankful that I'm still of good health. And be thankful and that's all he no says. interest, eh? I can tell. Now we'll talk to this very important. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. This is sad. But I would be worthless in battle. 
At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Controller's still on the fritz a little bit, but let's um, deposit some items. So, we want to... Let's read the, what the Shard of Hard Stones are. Shard of Hard Ore enhances straight swords, axes, hammers, and so on, a basic ore that evenly increases the power of a weapon. Weapons can be strengthened by hard stones a maximum level of 10. Basic ore that evenly increases the power of a uh, weapon. This is for Shard of sh uh, Sharp Ore enhances daggers, curved swords, spears, and so on. So these are pretty heavy. You'll see these are there's weights attached to these, right? So we want to give them all to Stockpile Toms to hold for us because we have item burden in this game. So you won't be able to pick up items if your item burden is past 86, that number at the bottom of the screen. 11.3 out of 86, that's what we have now. So now we'll look at, uh, we have a silver catalyst. We have to keep all this. We have to keep all this, but we'll read those. And then we have the... Fragrant ring, which we want. Recover MP a little at a time. Let's read it. A nobleman's ring forged with spices recovers MP a little at a time. An extremely rare, extremely delicate piece of handiwork. Silver cornet. A crown wrought from silver. This decorative piece is only given to the famous magicians of the distinguished Yormdar family. It's imbued with a unique spell that inc increases the bear's maximum MP. Awesome piece of equipment. So we are from this family. Um, wizard's clothes, well-made cloth uh, vest worn by official magicians. Thick gloves, finely crafted metal design worn by official magicians. And wizard's shoes, functional shoes suited for the stone floors. They are worn by official magicians. Rapiers have a narrow attack range, but deal heavy damage. They work well against metal armor, hard scales, but are easily parry, uh, parried and have difficulty breaking enemies' guard. The wielder of a rapier can attack uh, with a raised shield. That's why we can pokey pokey. So it's better to use a parry and block attacks with the left hand. A tool held in order to use magic, given only the magicians of Yormadar lineage. Its unique properties increase the user's maximum MP. And the buckler, small shield, especially effective at parrying. Its use requires a fair amount of skill in general. Lightly equipped soldiers paired with this rapier. And the crescent moon grass, the medicinal herb named in the lunar phase, recovers a small amount of user's HP. The effect of moon herbs changes according to the condition that they're crescent they're in. Crescent moon herbs are picked when they are very young. The effect of moon herbs changes according to the condition they're in. Half moon herbs are picked when they're weathered. The effect of moon herbs changes according to the condition they're in. Full moon herbs are a collection of wilted herbs and emit a faint light even in their wilted state. Royal Lotus. Petal of a crimson flower that floats in water moves poison from the user's body. This flower beca uh, became famous in no uh, ornament of nobility because of its beauty anything than the nexal binding key item symbol of those imprisoned by nexus having ties in a nexus even if you lose your physical body you cannot die your soul remains trapped in the nexus the nexal binding sends the user back to the nexus upon death but all souls collected will be lost and then here we've got soul items unknown soldier soul the remnants of a nameless soldier spirit that remain in its corpse use it and souls will be added to your stock even if you leave this be, it will only become nourishment for demons, in which case. The, re uh, the remnants of renowned soldier spirit that remained in the corpse, use it. Souls will be added to your stock. And then the gray demon soul. That's what we got from the vanguard. The soul of the demon vanguard radiates strong power. Granted, the, hold, uh, the holder a large number of souls when used alternatively, it can be made into mirror spells miracles or weapons but rest assured your goods are safe and sound with so me. we get we are going to continue stop best of luck to you story. there's other npcs we want to talk to around this corner right here oh my how has this happened has god abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to king alant oh mbasa mbasa Oh. 
she'll be able to talk to you more as we uh, progress further in the game. The Nexus is probably one of the coolest hub worlds in any game. I absolutely love this. And unfortunately, FromSoft couldn't recreate this um, with Bloodborne. They might have gotten close a little bit with Sekiro, but I still think Demon Souls rules. It's my favorite FromSoft game. And I really wish um, they would remake it because there's still some... I mean, I love this game. It's harder, but jeez. There's some craziness in this game because we're going to talk about World Tendency soon. Just want to make sure we've talked to everyone we can here, and I believe we have. So, and we write all of our item descriptions. We're supposed to touch this first archstone right here, the archstone of the small king. And I believe after we beat that first world, 1-1, one, one, we can talk up here to some NPCs all the way up there. So we're going to save that for the next episode. And we're going to start the next episode with... Uh, our first world here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how uh, the HD60, the Elgato HD60 works with the PS3, please let me know. I can leave detailed steps if you guys want. I can make a video about it. But thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you on the next one.